Next on Newsmakers, do cities have to pick up the slack when Congress can't get along, like this past fall with the government shutdown? A conversation with the executive director of the National League of Cities, coming up. Hi, I'm Sabrina Register. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. Today we're in downtown Seattle at the Washington State Convention Center for the National League of Cities Conference. And joining me right now is the Executive Director of National League of Cities. So nice to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so sir. much for coming on the program and for having us here today. Thank you, Sabrina, for having us here as well. I mean, this has been a wonderful city and our delegates of almost 3,000 has really wow. gotten a chance to see the real Seattle. So tell us a little bit about the purpose. A lot of people know about National League of Cities, but for those who don't, tell us, tell us your purpose. The National League of Cities mission is to represent the 18,000 cities in America. We are the voice for local government in Washington, D.C., uh, with the White House and with Congress. And our members uh, range from the largest city in America to a city that may only have uh, 50 people because we feel like any group of people that want to convene together and have the same values and the same issues, they are a community. So we represent them in Washington. Clarence, that must be a little tricky, though, because you've got cities with different issues. I would imagine there's there's definitely some things in common, um, but like you said, the, the sizes, people people want to address different things. So how do you do that? Like you're having your conference here in Seattle. What kind of conversations take place? Well, one of the things that we recognize is that there are basic issues that all cities face, housing, poverty, crime, you know, broadband uh, rights and, and processes. So what we do here is that we provide them with the skills and the knowledge to go back home and to be able to govern their city so that their citizens are getting the best and most knowledgeable um, elected officials. The other thing that's important is that we try to prioritize and focus on those issues that are more broad for America's cities. And so there are things that happened in a small city that also happen in large city, whether it's Tacoma, whether it is here in Seattle, you look at them, they still have the same basic issues. So we hope that at the end of this conference that we are sending elected officials back to their community being better leaders and better stewards and servants for their citizens. I posed this question before we started our conversation about cities. Do they have to pick up the slack when Congress can't get along? What would your answer? I think it's clear that cities are the place where things are happening. And we go to the grocery store, we go to the post office, we run into our citizens so that we have a different expectation and our citizens have a different expectation from us. Mm -hmm. So clearly what is happening with the shutdown and the lack of decisions in Washington, we're taking up the slack. And what we're seeing is that everybody now is saying we would love to be a mayor, mayor. and there's this mm -hmm. metropolitan revolution that is going on that people recognize that the best level of government is local government. So we're excited about that challenge and our leaders truly are uh, stepping up and prov providing those solutions. Clarence, any final thoughts? Well, the final thought is thank you all so much. Again, the hospitality in this region has been fantastic. People are all over the community celebrating Seattle and the entire metropolitan region. So the National League of Cities, uh, we're gonna continue to visit and represent the cities of America. So it sounds like you're coming back at some point in the future. Oh, Another the next time I come back, <laughs> I will have some time to really go out beyond Seattle because I've heard all the mayors in this region, uh, they've been just talking about the exciting things that are happening. Well, we'll hold you to that. Thank Clarence you, Sabrina. Anthony, thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers, headline news at the top and bottom of the hour.